Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today here we are with the Zadak All-in-One Spark Lit 240 millimeters water cooler that we did assemble yesterday. And I will leave a link right over here just in case you did miss that out. It is, in my opinion, a really interesting cooler. I will leave some links down below so that you guys can check it out. But today we are going to check the RGB, both manual and also controlled by the motherboard and also the temperatures that we will get and the noise level so if this is a topic that it's interesting to you just stay tuned and let's go for it and this video is sponsored by the new dodgy s98 pro the most powerful rugged phone on the market right now with the three-in-one camera setup and a advanced thermal imaging sensor so don't forget to check the link down below for more info about this phone and also a chance to win a dodgy s98 pro so first of all the rgb that it's integrated on this cooler it has on the fence and it also has here on the pump as you can see at this moment i've got the whole setup gpu ram and the cooler right over here the gpu is not controlled by the motherboard but i will share that in just a few moments everything else it is being controlled by the motherboard but if in case you have a older motherboard that doesn't support rgb then the zadak cooler comes with this remote right over here which has three buttons and we can control it manually it has a button that it's mode and it will show us the different presets or animations that it has and if you ask me how many i do didn't count them but there are a lot of presets right over here so I do believe that there is one for every single one of us that we will enjoy it also has the light button which will basically change the color that we are using so it has a few colors right over there and it also has a button called speed and the speed will act on the animation that we choose if it goes faster or if it goes slower which is also a really nice feature right over here so we can customize in a lot of ways manually in case we don't have a board that supports now in this particular case i'm using a asus now i will leave some links down below with all the uh, components that i've got on my setup right over here and i can use armory crate to control the um, leds from different devices and i can use the armory crate which is right over here on the screen to control the several different devices that we have um, connected to the computer including the cpu cooler and that is just awesome because with a click of a mouse which we will see right over here we can change everything at this moment is red with the animation breathing but if i want static and if i want to select any other color i can just go right over here and boom here you go we have the cooler we have the ram and we also have the motherboard that we will not see from that angle but we have the green right over here at the back which on any case would be visible but with this open frame right over here we will not see it that well but we can customize really easily just like this and i can of course choose any other effects without having to mess anything just need to press a button now you are seeing that the gpu is not on the same color the gpu has a different software i'm using the kfa extreme turner which probably you have seen here on the channel and i can customize the color of the gpu by going right over here and not really sure why but i will select red once again it doesn't synchronize with this motherboard there is some kind of incompatibility but this is the only component component at this moment that I cannot change with the software right over here. By the way, the cooler is compatible with our sync from Asus and also with the motherboards from MSI, but I don't have any MSI, so I will only test with the Aura Sync. Now, we can also choose color cycles, rainbows, even music, which I did test out on a previous video. As you can see, at this moment, it's completely off. But if I go and grab my YouTube video right over here about my new Mac Studio, you will see that it will start right over here depending on the sound if i block the sound it will just shut down the lights and if i turn on it will go according to that and of course it is on one color cycle but we can choose between uh, colors rainbows and several effects right over here so this is another option and let me put back on breathing because this is probably my favorite one and basically this is it in terms of rgb we have a lot of options and the most important option in my opinion is that we can use manual on older models and on newer models we have the 
uh, our sync and msi enabled rgb function which is just great now let's take a look really quickly at some temperatures because i'm really happy with the temperature and the noise level which is one thing that i want to share with you as well so let me put this right over here i will show you a test that i did earlier on idle we will get a temperature of roughly 37 degrees and uh, it, it is silent it's like it is right now my microphone is really close to the cooler and probably you can hear a little bit of airflow but that's about it it's silent so this is idle or even if you are playing a game it doesn't go much higher than this a little bit more depending on the game of course depending on the cpu usage now when we push this the full uh, blast in terms of course rendering with cinebench which is a really nice test that will push all the cpu cores we will see that it will um, do an effective cooling the fans will ramp up but it will not allow the cpu to go over 69 degrees now i've got an intel 11700 right over here which is not overclocked and it's not capable of being overclocked but if you put an 11700k it will be totally capable of cooling it down because it still have enough room for that so this is one of the tests but right now i want to show you the kind of noise levels that we will get and for that what i'm going to do is to shut up and to start the test at this moment is on idle i will press on start And there we go this this will be the maximum noise level that we will hear we are reaching the 65 degrees 66 degrees celsius it will go roughly to 69 which was the maximum that i've seen and this is it so really happy and one thing to have in mind is that i'm with the open rig if you put this setup inside a case this noise will almost completely disappear here it is a bit more obvious and that is one of the reasons that i do test out with open rigs but let's take a look at the noise levels when i do stop the test so that we can see it so right now and there he went now one thing that i did notice as well is that uh, 69 degrees is the maximum but as soon as we finish the rendering it will go uh, 40s really quickly and then after a few time 37 36 so really effective cooling right over here really happy with the performance in terms of temperature and really happy with the performance in terms of noise levels let's do one more test because while it's rendering it still doesn't reach the maximum capacity of the airflow so if i go to my armory crate software right over here if i go to fan speed what i'm going to do is at this moment is on silent or standard and i will put it on full blast and before I do, I will shut up. And now let's go to silent. Full blast. So really interesting this noise level and the efficiency that it has and i'm really happy with it no issues at all in recommending this kind of setup for the reasons that we have seen and in terms of the noise levels one more thing that i would like to ask you if you didn't notice while we were rendering we were not getting this higher level that we did with the full blast so i do suspect that you will never use it at full blast unless you wanted to and you just put it manually like i did right now for this particular test guys that being said hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one